So recently, some drama has developed around the content creator, Illymation, and she's a storytime YouTuber who has been making videos for a few years now, and I've watched a couple of her videos before in the past, and I've enjoyed some of the videos that she's made before. And it was very surprising to me when I saw a couple of other creators like Diesel Patches and Sensitive Society make videos surrounding her specifically, and I wondered what the problem actually was. And it was essentially around a video that she titled, Perks of Being the Fat Kid in which the main message of the video that she makes was how at one point she was very uncomfortable in her body, but overall she found that she was able to finally learn how to be comfortable in her own skin and you should be comfortable in your own skin and you shouldn't be assholes to fat people. But the problem with the video is that it also has some disingenuous information within it and some that's just factually incorrect. And another content creator by the name Think Before You Sleep actually made a video discussing the video and talking about how some of the stuff that she says within the video is actually just factually incorrect. And this then sparked her to go onto her Tumblr account in which she started to talk about how she started sending flags on the video to get the video taken down or even potentially get think before you sleep's channel taken down hopefully not the channel and just specifically the video but it's still wrong regardless because the main thing that she's really targeting the video for isn't because her content was being used it was because of the fact that think before you sleep had a different opinion than hers and she couldn't really accept that and what makes this even worse is that she didn't even really watch the video she even says herself that she didn't watch the video before striking the channel and pretty much encouraging others to also kind of strike the channel as well of course she says don't engage with the content and don't watch it and give the person ad revenue but she doesn't at all say at any point to not also strike the channel along with her and i just think that it's wrong she says stuff like this and maybe as weird as it may sound maybe this was proof that my body and other people's bodies don't need to be less fat to be considered healthy. And when it comes to food, that same logic should apply. A carrot isn't an inherent good food, while chocolate is an inherent bad food. Food is just food. She tries to simple down food as one thing not being a specific good food and another thing not being specifically a bad food. Like in the video she discusses how, or she just says that a carrot isn't specifically like a good food and chocolate isn't just a bad food. Food is just food, that's what she says in the video. But the problem is that even just by doing a simple Google search, you can see that eating carrots has significant health benefits when you're eating them and being a lower weight and not being overweight and being like 100, 200 pounds overweight actually has significant health benefits. And when you're eating chocolate, I, I even looked it up, it says it improves brain functions, but eating it daily or every day, it's not good for you because it has a lot of calories and sugar in it. And so eating it every single day is not good for you. Just because you wanna eat it doesn't mean that you should be eating it, or at least not every single day. The whole thing that you should have been spreading within this video is food is just food, but knowing what to eat and when to eat it is the thing that you should be looking out for. It's okay to want to eat junk food, like, uh, like, like fast food places like McDonald's or Burger King, or go eat like a pizza from like Domino's or Pizza Hut or whatever, right? Or just eating chocolate, eating sweets, eating ice cream or whatever. But knowing when to eat it and knowing how much you want to eat it is the thing that you need to do because at the end of the day, it's all about moderation. Knowing how much to eat it and when and how, how frequently you do eat it is the thing that you need to have proper balance of. Because end of the day, eating stuff like carrots and apples and fruits and vegetables and a whole bunch of other stuff is going to be way more healthy. And she also talks about how she struggled a lot with losing weight. And in, I'm not a medical, a medical health professional. I'm not like a, I'm not a physician or anything, but it sort of just sounds to me that the thing that she mainly did was just exercise a lot more. But one of the big things that you also need to change around when you're trying to lose weight is not just exercising, but you also need to change your diet as well. So I've seen a lot of people online when they talk about trying to lose weight, it's you need to move around more and you need to eat less. And that's just like the simplest way that I've seen people explain it. That's I'm, give, I'm giving you like the super dumbed down version that I've heard before from many other people. But eating less whilst eating more is going to net you losing weight faster. And especially considering what it is that you're trying to eat, 
that's what you need to be careful of. So eating something like ice cream. It's okay to have ice cream like whenever you want to have that cheat day and like or like on a, like a Saturday night and you just feel like, you know, eating like a pint of ice cream. That's perfectly fine, but you shouldn't be doing that like every day or whatever. Like like you can do that like once a month or like twice like twice a month every other week or something like that knowing when to eat something in moderation is the big thing that should have been spread within this video but instead she just points a lot of information that could be detrimental for some people and that's what think before you sleep was trying to do with this video he was trying to spread information that could actually help other people instead of just saying oh food is just food and you should be able to eat food whenever you want regardless of the fact that it's not healthy to just be able to eat whatever you want whenever you want you need to know what it is you're eating how it'll benefit you benefit you in some way and how much of it should you consume end of the day though the main problem here is that she disagreed with think before you sleep and what he was saying within this video and she decided to go ahead and start striking the video which is never okay, right? Just because someone says something that you don't agree with does not give you the validation and the right to start sh falsely striking someone's channel. And I've said this before in plenty of other videos before in the past regarding so like other similar topics like this. This is one of the YouTube cardinal sins. You, you, sh you should never at any point falsely strike someone's video or even channel just because they said something that you didn't like. This is what Sniper Wolf back in the day would constantly get in trouble with. And now Illimation's essentially doing the same thing here. And it's really upsetting, right? And right, rightfully so, because she's trying to use her platform and her influence because she's a massive YouTuber, almost like two and a half million subscribers. And she's trying to use her influence as well as, as knowing other people within the YouTube sphere to potentially get this dude's channel taken down and that's not right i don't agree with that the video overall is fine and again i don't disagree with some of the points that she even makes within the video you know just being comfortable in your own skin and stop making fun of fat people because you should be encouraging them to lose weight because they'll be healthier for it but she doesn't do that and she just spreads a lot more information within the video that could be detrimental for others whilst doing that she's also now trying to get someone's video taken down falsely and that's not right it's very disappointing i really don't like seeing illimation within the news like this but this is something that needs to be talked about and people need to hold her accountable for the actions that she's trying to commit here and people need to get the point across that what she's trying to do is just not right so yeah if by the off chance that she just so happens to see this video uh please stop what you're doing don't encourage people to strike the video for no actual reason just because someone has a different opinion than yours doesn't give you the right to do what you're doing what you should have done is if you truly didn't agree with what they were saying within the video and you were so and, and you were so vehement in your thoughts and opinions that you said in your video you should have just not responded at all that's the main thing that you should have just decided to do in the end you should have just not responded in any way whatsoever but instead this is how you decided to respond, and now people are calling you out for it. So, very disappointing. I'm sad that this happened, but hopefully this gets the message across. Hopefully everyone talking about it now, it gets the message across, and she realizes what she's doing is wrong, right? But, end of the day, I think it just, she needed to be more informed when making this video. And that's another thing at the end of the day, is that she needed to be more well informed with what she was talking about, instead of just saying... Oh yeah, like there are there's no bad side to being fat because there are plenty of downsides to being fat. It's statistically healthier to start trying to lose weight instead of just allowing yourself to be overweight. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say. Uh, <laughs> leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'm super interested to see what you have to say. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Please be sure to turn on the bell notifications below and I'll see you guys next one. I'm out. Peace.